in mi cocina. We're here in my kitchen. And I said that I would help you learn to make calalacitas, which means a little squash dish. Ita is a term of endearment in the Latino community, like bonita or suavecito. And uh, so today we're going to use the ingredients of the three sisters of the indigenous diet, which is also the Latino diet. And what we have in this beautiful hand-done pottery from Mexico is we have corn, which of course is so important. We are people of the corn. We have squash and we have chili. So I always say you have to have garlic and onion, two things that are part of our cuisine that are good for you. Uh, they're purifiers and they make you strong and healthy. We're also gonna add a little tomatito because tomatoes are also from this hemisphere. So what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna chop all these things up. We're gonna give you a wonderful recipe and you're gonna be able to enjoy calabacitas from now on in the future. We have the ingredients here. And we have our squash, we have our onion, we have our chilies, and we have garlic. Now the recipe in this wonderful book that you're gonna get, that's from 1965, is called calabacitas, like we said. But I wanna tell you that Latino recipes are kind of a gusto, which means to your taste. So I always put three cloves of garlic in because garlic is um, antibiotic, a blood purifier, and I love the taste of it. I wanna show you a little trick that I learned. This, when you want to do your garlic, this will take the, um, the shell off very easily. You chop all these ingredients up. I'm going to fry them in olive oil very lightly. You want to keep the squash so that it's, um, so that it's still crispy and, and, and not overcooked. And then once we get that cooked, we're going to do something kind of Americano. We're going to put cheese on top of it because that'll make it even better.